This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Philippines Uncut. I'm your host, Buddy Tunana. Now, on this show, we talk about everything in the sun. And tonight is our Halloween All Saints Day special. But before that, I want to apologize to the viewers for being off the air for two weeks. I was on an official trip in India. And actually, we're going to be documenting and we're going to be showing these amazing experiences in India in a series of travel logs, which we'll be featuring here on Philippines Uncut over the next few weeks and months. Now, back to our original topic, which is really our Halloween special, Our Ghosts for Real. What is paranormal investigation? Joining us to talk about these fascinating topics for this special event, for this special uh, program, are two uh, renowned uh, uh, personalities in this field. One is uh, joining us now is uh, Ms. Jade Martin, yeah, good and evening, she is the founder and leader, team leader of uh, Profilers of the Unknown. Good evening. good evening. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Uh, thank you for having me here. It's just uh, a great honor. Thank you for coming. And uh, joining you is uh, Kit Ko, and you're the researcher of this organization which Jade founded, Profilers of the Unknown. Exactly. Uh, Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Thanks, buddy, and hoping to have a great time. Yes, definitely. I mean, this is something which is really a very interesting topic for me personally. And I have, I have actually met, um, um, featured this several times in the past. And I always make it a point to feature this around about this time, Halloween, All Saints Day, because it has a special significance for people, especially for our viewers. Now, and, and, th and these are questions that all of us want answered, really. Okay, let's talk about uh, paranormal investigations. But before we start, let's talk about yourselves, starting with ladies first. Mm -hmm. talk, uh, please, uh, who is Jade Martin? Uh, I am a businesswoman. I am trained when it comes to leadership. I'm a U.S. certified life coach and business coach. And at the same time, um, I'm a wealth, uh, what do you call this? I'm a wealth expert or... Um, Something like a business coach. Okay. Um, I, since I was a kid, I got very much interested into the paranormal. I've been experiencing a lot, and as much as possible, I want to understand the things that are happening. And for that reason, since I was nine years old, I already got myself involved in a lot of paranormal investigations. Interesting, interesting. Okay, how about you, Kit? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, I'm Kit, Kit Ko, and uh, it's a short name. <laughs> <laughs> Two uh, syllables. Yeah, kid <laughs> okay. call. Uh, so, uh, 
before I got interested in this kind of uh, hobby, I call this a hobby. Do you call this a hobby? Okay. I call advocacy. It a passion. Passion advocacy. Exactly. Yeah. That's the word. It's really the passion of not just by myself, but for helping others. You know, I've seen a lot of people who got possessed. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who are living in possession. Sometimes you, you, you don't know that you are being possessed all your life. So wow. uh, I've seen them suffer, and we all thought that it's normal, but it's not. Mm. So mm. yeah, these things do exist. But what is your background, though? Oh, yeah. Uh, I studied theology. Okay. Uh, so I have a great background when it comes to uh, the Bible and the faith, of course. Mm. Uh, mm. I'm a Baptist, by okay. the way. Okay. So mostly we deal with, but, but as much as possible in our group, we want to make it uh, neutral. How about you, Jade? Are you, uh, are you a Catholic? Are you Christian? What I'm is a your secular religious? Buddhist. Secular Buddhist. Okay. Meaning to say, technically, I'm an atheist. Okay. Interesting. Interesting yeah. that you should be in this work. Yeah. That <laughs> you're technically an atheist. Okay, continue. continue. Yeah, I'm very neutral. Yeah. Uh, I have respect for all religions, but it's, it's just that um, when it comes to paranormal investigation, you have to be level-headed. Level you don't need your own opinion. Uh, you don't need to base it on your religious beliefs or anything. You have to be very neutral about the job. Actually, actually, I can see your point that when you said technically you are an atheist, I can see how that is an asset. Right. Because yeah. then you, you, don't, you come to this kind of thing and you don't have any preconceived notions. You don't have any baggage. You can approach it, as you said, yeah. very objective, very clinical. And free. And free, no BS. No? Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about your this very interesting group, Profilers of the Unknown. Um, you know, um, okay, we know a lot of people who, who have problems like this with the mm -hmm. paranormal, and uh, a lot of them really don't know who to reach out to. That's why I'm so glad that this group, which I just stumbled on yesterday, actually, yeah. or I mean, uh, you know, a few days ago, is, is out there because, uh, you know, um, clearly there is a need for a professional, you know, science-based group in the Philippines. And I know in the West, they, had, they do have groups like this. But yeah. as far as I know, you guys are the first to actually introduce this in the Philippines, a science-based logic-based approach to paranormal problems or situations. Not that really the, the first. Uh, I've known a lot of groups have been doing this yeah. a lot of uh, But organized. Before. I mean, yeah, really yeah. organized. You guys but are really organized. I think what makes us stand out is that we're more balanced. Mm. Uh, I'm very, very much open-minded as a leader. I do not discredit the fact that some people can have special abilities, and we honor that as long as that can be validated. Yes, and, th and, and that really is the key, validation, yeah. which we're going to talk about tonight. Okay, let's talk about the group Profilers of the Unknown. Um, you're, you're the founder, Jade. Yeah. Um, when did you found this, and, 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 and why? February 28, okay. 2012. Okay. okay, so it's a relatively new organization. Uh, okay. It's new, but yeah. we're not new to the film. Okay. In fact, before I got into this, I've been with a lot of groups before. Eventually, since I wanted something else aside from what they're doing, which is very traditional. Uh, psychics, I, I, you bring in yeah, psychics, and you do. They have their own opinions, which I cannot accept. Yes. I decided to put up my own. Okay, okay. Now, okay, in, interesting you say that they, they had opinions that you couldn't accept. What is the approach of the other groups? That makes um, yours, aside from the validation, yeah. what, is, what makes your group different? I'm not going to name names. Sure, sure. But I've been with a group wherein they are very technical. So if ever there is somebody who's saying, I can experience this and that, I can see this and that, they would um, automatically discredit you or tell you that you have something in your head. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. one thing that I don't want to do. Uh, I want to do paranormal investigation with the heart. Mm. As long as, as much as possible, it's not just about being technical because science is, is not just about using gadgets. Okay. There are a lot of things that we can use like analysis, observation, logic, sure, and that's sure. one thing that most of the groups I've been with do not know. Mm. Uh, also, I've been with some groups that are very psychic. Mm. Uh, tell them something scientific they will not accept. Mm. So I want to um, create something that will make a balance between sure, the two. Sure. Like, like you bring the best of both worlds. I mean, you, you, you try to bring yes. in the strengths of both, not just... Uh, yes. And I know what you mean. I have actually on this show interviewed groups that are leaning more towards the psychic side. Right. I mean, right. and as you said, very little validation. How do you know if it, if it really is, uh, is, is, is real? Exactly. What is your experience here? Uh, okay. uh, I'm the newest. Uh, okay. in this group. I've just joined uh, this year. Okay. And it's very funny uh, how I started. I, w I woke up one day and then um, I used to listen in the West. Uh, I used to listen, <coughs> I'm sorry, I used to listen uh, uh, to this kind of 
um, interest in stories. Yeah. Um, U.S. based. So I woke up one day. I said, "Is there anything the same as this?" Mm -hmm. uh, w what I'm listening to in the U.S. Yeah. So I searched Google, and then you know, paranormal investigators, Philippines. There are several groups that pop pops up. Yeah. But then again, when I contact them, uh, they're like, "What do you believe?" Um, it's more on the psychic side. Sure, sure. Well, which nothing wrong with that. Right. Yeah. You know, but but you guys. But I was looking yeah. for something uh, in the middle. Mm. You know as much as possible, more scientific and logically, they could explain things that could happen. And then that's where I found the profilers of the unknown. And I, I met Jade, we were able to meet up, and then, you know, Excellent. brainstorm. Excellent. Things happen. <laughs> what is the mission, the basic mission of par, uh, profilers of the unknown? And, and how come, and, and, and I mean, what, what kind of services do you offer to, to, to people? Uh, we prove or disprove a paranormal activity mm. and at the same time we find the most logic uh, logical explanation as to why those phenomena phenomenon happen mm. uh, at the same time uh, to the best that we could we help those people who are being bothered by giving them advices on how to deal with um, with the activities mm. so that mm. eventually they will be able to deal with them properly or at least put a permanent stop to those. Mm, okay, yeah, no, no, it can be a big problem. And uh, as, as you know, as, as I said earlier, all of us know people yeah. who have been bothered, are being bothered with this. And, you know, it can be very frustrating, huh? Because, like, you know, how do you deal with it, no? Who do you call? And, like, the, the, the knee-jerk reaction in the Philippines, we being a Catholic ca country, predominantly mm -hmm. Catholic, is, oh, let's call a priest, let's contact a priest, let's contact a, talk to a nun, go to mass, pray. Do these uh, approaches work? I mean, you know, the religious approach, like, because th th that's what, what people would recommend. Talk to Father like this, go to church, pray mm -hmm. like that, like that. And the strengthen preacher would come, bless, faith. bless, strengthen your faith, bless the house, bless the house, like that. Do, in your experience, do these approaches work? Hmm? Uh, based on our experiences, yeah. uh, I say it's 50-50. 50% -50. Mm -hmm. it does work, 50% mm -hmm. it does not work. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it has to deal with the self. Yeah. Self. Interesting. Not really something paranormal but it's herself. Wow. So that's one thing that we want to share to them also. Maybe they're not that open-minded yet that it's them. So you, you mean tell me sometimes it could be the person, the people, the inhabitants of the house manifesting this? Possible. Manifesting whatever sounds or things yeah. they hear or whatever. Like there that. are cases like that. No? The, yes. the mind is a powerful thing. It could be self-manifestations, no? Yeah. Exactly. In fact, mm. for me, it depends on the case. Mm. Uh, most of the cases we've handled uh, really just stop doesn't really put a permanent uh, solution to the problem. Even in cases where it, clearly there is a paranormal being. Yeah. So continue, please. Uh, there are other factors to consider, like how about your relationship in the family? Mm. Uh, if you keep on fighting, if you keep on uh, saying a lot of bad words every day, uh, expect that there will be elements living with you who feed on those negative vibes. Uh, there might be some demons in the place. Wow. So even if you keep on praying, you won't be able to drive them away without changing your lifestyle, without changing your attitude. There are a lot of things to look uh, to look at, like it's the psychology yeah. of the person, yeah. um, the emotional aspect. Uh, maybe this person is uh, easily afraid of things. So when it comes to dealing with paranormal investigation, we don't only look at the faith, uh, the relationship. There are a lot of things to consider. A lot of factors. So it's a it's a complicated. It's a complicated right. problem. Thing. No, it's That's why interconnected. I do it alone. Excellent. Now, before we go to that, let's talk about okay. Let's talk about the paranormal. Let's define it first. Are ghosts for real? Answer. Based on the <laughs> evidence, yes. Okay. Okay. Kit? Based on our experiences, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so at least we, we clear that up. <laughs> one example is: Have you ever had an experience when you go into somewhere? Yeah. And you feel that you know you feel low or you feel something different. Sure, sure. Why? Uh, it's energy. Or like unease, you know, you feel yeah. uneasy in a certain place, yeah? It's because of the energy in that specific place. Yeah. So when you talk about energy, it could be what? What are different kinds of energy? When you're happy, you're exerting energy. When you're sad, you're also exerting energy. The same mm. amount of energy. You're angry you're when you're negative. Exactly. You, you, you and emit energy. W what's funny and interesting is because of these entities, they feed on these negative energies. Mm. 
and most of our clients when they are really negative we found out that they have negative stuff it could be their lifestyle it could be uh, way of living it could be their faith or mm -hmm. all of those factors if factor it in that's why most of the time they have activities at home okay. now okay you're talking about entities and all that yeah. let's define the supernatural what is out there I mean what is out there beyond the physical realm aside from what yeah. us you know physical beings First of all, I would like to clarify something. Please. Paranormal and supernatural are two different things. Okay. When we say paranormal, it has the potential to be proven by science or um, to be explained by science. That means potential, meaning as of now, we cannot yet explain it, but at least we can able to gather pieces of evidence that eventually we could use yes. uh, to create uh, a theory or eventually a fact. Okay, all right. Uh, when it comes to supernatural, it's something that cannot really be explained by science. It's illogical. I mean, meaning to say it's inconsistent with reason. Sure. And no matter how you try to explain it, you can never find an explanation. Okay. By okay. the word itself, super supernatural. Natural. It's super. Okay, natural. so which do you guys deal with? The paranormal, the supernatural, or both? Paranormal. Paranormal. Okay, like, okay. So. Paranormal, you can prove it, or you can, you, you can at least find some evidence, produce right. some evidence pointing to this sort of, to this reality, and supernatural you can't. No? Yeah. Okay, so continue. I mean, what is out there? What is out there? <laughs> there, there uh, one example is the air, wind. Mm. You can feel it. You, you can see it, right? Yeah. You can see it, but you can feel it. It can manifest itself. No, because you're talking about demons and spirits. Right. Now, what is out there when you talk about paranormal? What kind of paranormal entities are out there? There are different kinds of... A lot. A lot. What are the basic ones? I mean, uh, uh, in, in the Philippines, you know what? Mumu or ghosts, no? Yeah. yeah. So these are, in our layman's term, and perception are people, spirits of people who passed on and they linger. Yeah. And you, they, you can name them all. Like, okay. um, if, you, if we talk to people like in the provinces, yeah. what they say is capre. Yeah, capre, yeah. Uh, duende. Uh, duende. Okay. Nature spirits, elementals. Okay. Okay. Elementals. Okay. Now, so basically, we classify them into... I mean, there's human spirit. What else is out there? I mean, human spirit, elementals, and you, you mentioned demons Nature as well. spirits, familiar spirits. Yeah. Um, some believe that they are animal spirits. Okay, okay. Uh, it's a mix of everything. Yeah, there are a lot of spirits that are still unknown to us. So aside from human spirits, there are other spirits exactly. inhabiting that other dimension. How, okay, what about demons? Where, where do demons fall into place? Uh, my personal explanation about demons is these are disembodied spirits that have personalities. Mm. Uh, one example is if, you, if there's an authentic possession, mm. you are going to be amazed because the demon has a personality. When you talk to them, they respond. Wow. Okay. Uh, if you ask them, what's your name? They would, some of the demons would respond, why are you asking? I don't want to say uh, my name. And this demon would be talking through a, a occupied, uh, yes. a possessed person. Exactly. Okay. And what, interest, what, what interests me is the personality is very unique. From Every demon is somewhat unique. Mm. They have their own intelligence. They are very intelligent and yeah, they have their own personality. Mm. Um, some could speak different languages mm. that you can't explain sure like ancient languages exactly. dead languages kind of thing yeah. female that becomes male or male that becomes female and uh, what's funny is how we deal with them mm -hmm. uh, the the most common way and we see on tv especially if you're living in the philippines is where if there's someone possessed there what do we do we shout at the person yeah right the, yeah, like yeah. Sino ka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ka be dyan. gone, be gone. And uh, it's yeah. shout. You are sh they are on top of their lungs and they're shouting. It's a waste of energy. Mm. You don't have to do that. Mm. Uh, others, they, they, they use a holy water, right? And they sprinkle it. Yeah. Binabasa. Again. I mean, if you're a demon and someone is sprinkling water with you, what would say, right? <laughs> so, you, so you're saying useless? Exactly. It's a waste of energy. Wait, guys. Pause first because now we're going to we're coming into the interesting part of the interview, which is actually your personal experiences, which I personally want to hear about. But we have to pause for a break, guys. More of paranormal investigations in Philippines and Philippines and Cut Stick around. Shit. Yes.